So this week I was thinking, what can I do for a new episode of Discussing Dead? And I thought to myself, hey, I still haven't spoken about that Rick Grimes trilogy of films we're going to be receiving over the next few years. I've mentioned it briefly in a couple other episodes and in my 905 review, but I haven't really gone into it really in depth. So that's what we're going to do today in today's episode of Discussing Dead, is we're going to be talking about the Rick Grimes trilogy. Now this trilogy of films was announced by ABC shortly after Andrew Lincoln's exit from the show in 905 when we saw him obviously potentially get killed off and seen him getting taken away by Jadis in the helicopter off to God knows where and we will meet back up with him in a few years time uh, when his films eventually come to fruition. Now, are these films a good idea? Well, it's interesting because there's no real evidence from history that show us how these kind of movie or TV show to movie adaptations have worked out because there isn't really any successful ones that I can think of where a TV show had a film spin off from it and it be successful. And I'm talking about live action here, not animation. Animation is kind of a different thing. But from live action TV shows going to a live action movie, it's not really a thing that's been done before. It's kind of unprecedented. So going into this, there's not really anything we can look at to say, oh, well, this worked in the past or this didn't work in the past. We don't really know. So it's going to be difficult to judge this. But in regards to looking at it in face value, I feel like the idea of having a Rick Grimes movie or Rick Grimes trilogy is something really quite interesting for fans because Rick Grimes, I think, is a really interesting character. Very interesting character. Especially his backstory, which we never really got to dive into. We don't really dive into the backstory of many characters in The Walking Dead. Sometimes you get a flashback episode and you'll see a few of them, but very rarely. And Rick Grimes, given the fact he was the main character, we didn't really get much with him. We got a few things here and there, but not much. So I would really like to dive into that more going into these films. And maybe even diving into his family, but I'll get into that a bit later. So what would the story be for this? Well, I really don't know. Because like I say, we don't know where he's going. Like, we don't know anything about this. What I feel must be happening is they're going to go away. You know, Jadis is going to take Rick to the helicopter people. Which I have to say, I do quite like that payoff. The helicopter thing and how that paid off with Rick getting taken away. Although I personally still feel like they maybe should have killed Rick Grimes in the end. I still, I like the fact that's how they paid off the helicopter thing. I think that was quite good. But... I think they're obviously going to go to the helicopter people and Rick is going to be the founding father, if you will, of this new kind of society. Obviously, Rick Grimes is such a good leader. He's such a good foundation builder for this for like a new community. And I feel like that's what they're aiming for here. They're saying, right, Rick, come with us and show us how it's done. Because if you remember like the tagline for The Walking Dead Season 5, it was the new world's going to need Rick Grimes. So with that, you know, in mind this new community is going to need Rick Grimes. And I feel like that's sort of what they're doing with these films, is they're going to be like, while it is going to be extremely central on Rick, it's going to be extremely central, he is going to be building the foundations for this other community, which is going to be elsewhere in the US. Obviously, we don't know exactly where that's going to be, where he's going to go, but it's going to be elsewhere in the United States, and he's going to be setting up this new community with them. And I think that's a really cool idea to start off with. So what about characters? Well, there's been a big rumor that we could be seeing Heath in these films, which is interesting. Heath is a character who we haven't seen in a very long time, and he's just kind of been MIA from the show for a few years. So a lot of people are thinking maybe this is how they bring Heath back into it, is they bring him into the films. I would like this, but it would seem a bit random, especially because we don't know where Heath is right now, and we don't know where Rick is going. Because as far as, like, the way I'm looking at it is, Wherever Rick's going is nowhere near where Heath is. So how they would come together, I don't know. How Heath traveled there or how Rick got to there, I don't know. It's really one. It's one of them things that would be cool, but is a little bit too, um, a little bit too uh, dreamscape for me to actually want to buy into that idea. Now I mentioned earlier about Rick's family. Um, now in the comics, Rick has a brother. I would like to see them potentially go down this route. I think this would be cool because introducing Rick's brother into the show, I think would be a bad decision, but doing it in the movie, I think would work in a way to give Rick a companion, like a character who he could relate to and, you know, be in conflict with, but also in companionship with kind of like Daryl in a way, 
um, to give him like a Daryl for the film I think would be quite interesting and you could get some really cool castings for Rick's brother as well so I think if they want to go down the brother route I think that would be the best play for this if they wanted to introduce like a member of Rick's family I think that'd be the best thing to do and I believe they have mentioned his brother on the show once in like season one or season two they mentioned it so there is president you know the, the foundations have been laid so if they wanted to do it they could um, I'm just wondering if they will but I think that's a really cool idea. Like I say, if they wanted to go with this idea of family and lineage, I think his brother is probably the best choice they could go with. Now, in regards to release dates, we still don't know exactly when these films are going to be coming out. We do know that the first film in the trilogy is going to be going into production, I believe, this year. So that means that we could be seeing it, you know, maybe as early as next year, potentially 2021, depending on what they do with it. Now, I believe they are filming it in the UK, uh, obviously Andrew Lincoln's local, so I don't quite know in terms of the how long the production will be, because we obviously we don't know how long the film will be, what the production costs are going to be. It's one of those things that we just, honestly, we have to wait and see. Like, it's really hard to kind of talk about and speculate these kind of things, because we don't know barely anything about this yet. Um, the only things we really know is that it's happening, there's going to be three movies, uh, Andrew Lincoln's obviously starring, and Scott Gimple is involved. That's all we really know. So, it, it's difficult, but I feel like that this is a, um, you know, a, a really interesting thing. But these release dates, I think for the first movie in particular, you should expect it around 2020, 2021, and then kind of expect one every maybe two years following that, and that's how it's going to sort of play. Also, another big question people have had about this movie is that will it be theatrical? And what I mean by that is will it be released in theatres? Um, I think it'd be a major missed opportunity if they didn't, and I feel like they could. I think The Walking Dead is one of the few TV shows that could release a film theatrically and it do well. I feel like that and Game of Thrones, maybe a couple others, are the only ones that could actually do that given how popular these shows are. Like The Walking Dead, I, I say what you want about the ratings going down, but they're still massive numbers. So, you know, take that as it, as it is. I think that could do really well. Will they do that? I don't know. I feel like they may just release them, you know, on ABC and release them as telly movies. Not, not in your traditional sense, but they will release them on TV and also on apps and things like that. Uh, I can't see them doing it. I would really love them to do it because that would be a really awesome experience to watch The Walking Dead on the big screen. That would be really cool. Um, and I think that, again, with a movie production budget, I think maybe they could do it. And like I say, I feel like The Walking Dead is one of those shows that could do it. I think fans would come out in droves to watch this thing if they did release it theatrically. So, could they do it? Yes. Will they do it? I think we'll just have to wait and see with that one. So, the final question is, will Rick ever return to The Walking Dead? Um, I feel like, given the fact he's been left alive, absolutely yes. Um, but... I don't think they're going to do it for a very long time. The Walking Dead is still projected to be going on for probably at least about the five years. We're going to see it reach, you know, supernatural numbers, probably go past supernatural, probably, uh, given how popular the show is. Um, you know, because nine seasons is already a huge achievement, and it looks like they're going to just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going for a while. And uh, I'm fine with that as long as they keep bringing in fresh ideas, fresh people, new faces to bring new ideas and new life into the show sort of every few years. Because Angela Kang has done absolutely amazing work this season. Um, so, you know, I feel like The Walking Dead, it is going to keep going for, a, for at least another five years, at least. So I feel like what they should do in regards to Rick returning to The Walking Dead is in the final season whatever that season is let's say season 15 for example that's not my prediction i'm just saying so season 15 let's say is the final season of the walking dead and they come out and say andrew lincoln is returning for the final season i feel like that's what they should do bring him back for the final season or even hell bring him back for the final episode or even if they wanted to go on better bring him back in the final scene of the final episode you know, his great return. Because obviously, in regards to the show, and in regards to the characters of the show, besides Jadis, he's dead. Rick is dead. So, it would be this massive moment, like, a huge way to end the show if Rick comes back. That would be, like, the final big moment, and we could see him, you know, meet up with Judith, who would be, you know, pretty much an adult at this point. You know, Michonne could be there. Uh, obviously, we know Michonne's got an another kid now. Um, 
you know, which is also Rick's uh, son. So, you know, that there's a lot they could do with that. And even just bringing back all those characters, see how he'd interact with Daryl if he survives by this point. Like, there's a lot they can do there. And I feel like bringing back Rick would be this amazing thing. Even, like, because uh, obviously we don't know when The Walking Dead's going to end. We don't know if it's going to end. We don't know what the ending point is. Like, we don't know what the end goal is for this show. You'd have to think the end goal would be something along the lines of maybe them even potentially curing, you know, the disease. Um, maybe that's what the movies are going to explore. That could, that could maybe be the story. Maybe they're going to explore Rick maybe helping, you know, th these people in this other community helping to find a cure. Maybe that's what they're doing. And then he comes back in the final season when the whole thing's getting wrapped up and he shows up and he's like, yeah, it was me, I did it. Um, so maybe that's what they're doing. There's so much potential with this. Uh, and I have to say, although I was very put off by the idea at first, the more I've thought about it and the more it's marinated in my head as time's gone on since the announcement, I'm really beginning to like this concept. And I feel like the Rick Grimes films could be something extremely unprecedented, but something very cool for us fans to watch. So what do you guys think about the Rick Grimes trilogy? Make sure you let me know all your thoughts about it. Are you excited about it? Are you not? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you not? And what are your theories about it? What do you think it's going to be about? Which characters do you think we'll see? Who do you think will be a big relevance of the show? Do you think they'll bring in Rick's family? Will we explore his backstory? Whatever you think about this trilogy of films, make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, if you want to see more movie reviews, TV reviews, videos like this, and anything else from me, be sure to subscribe, and I hope to see you guys again in my next video.